everyone, Monroe Steele here from Fashion Steel NYC and welcome back to my channel and another Miami vlog. Do not forget to give a girl a thumbs up and subscribe if you love fashion, beauty, lifestyle, and travel videos. All right guys, so today is Saturday. I am up bright and early. I'm gonna shoot a few outfits uh, with my girl Maria today. Um, I just like to batch shoot my content. It just makes life so much easier. I have one campaign to shoot today and then about mm, just four other looks that I'll be posting throughout the week. I'm also shooting a few outfits that I'm going to wear during Art Basel so that way I already have those pictures. I don't have to worry and stress about getting them the day of. Again, wearing my favorite new like kimono style robe from Soma Intimates. I'll link it down below. It's it's incredible, you guys. I'm, I've been living in this robe. Also, for my skincare, I know that I have spoken to you all before about my favorite vitamin C serums. And this portion of the video is in partnership with Hyper Even Brightening Dark Spot Vitamin C Serum. I have been using this serum pretty much since it came out. It is a black owned business. It's also now available in Sephora. It comes in two different sizes, 15 milliliter and 30 milliliter. This here is the 30 milliliter and you guys, it's amazing. It has vitamin C, turmeric, kojic acid, apple enzymes, bear berry, <laughs> and hyaluronic acid. Um, it's great for brightening dark spots and discoloration. And with the Hyper Even Brightening Dark Spot Vitamin C Serum, this has one of the highest concentrations of vitamin C, which I love. It's 15% which is just amazing. Um, and combined with all of the other ingredients like turmeric and hyaluronic acid, it's just the perfect combination for your skin and for brightening dark spots and discoloration. But I also have a coupon code for you all if you would like to try it. You can use code Monroe15 for 15% off at hyperskin.com. And what I love about it is it really just seeps into your skin. I usually use it after cleansing. I put it on my face, also on my neck, and my skin just feels supple and smooth. It does help with my hyperpigmentation and dark spots. I like to put it on if I'm just having a no makeup day. I just feel like I'm giving my skin all of these great amazing products that's just gonna make my face look better. I will also sometimes wear it um, under my makeup as well. So definitely check them out. I have linked it down below. Again, you can use my code Monroe15 for 15% off at hyperskin.com and special thanks to hyperskin for sponsoring this portion of the video all right guys so i'm gonna go ahead and get ready since i've already done my skincare base routine um, i'm gonna get my makeup on i'm gonna do a little something to my hair go ahead and put on my first look which will be a campaign and then i will take you guys behind the scenes with me shooting after shooting i'm not sure what we're gonna do but tomorrow i am moving to a new uh, airbnb so i will be giving you an apartment tour of that y'all i'm just bouncing around literally until i close on my house which should be in the next few weeks definitely before the holidays so really excited about that, excited to show you my new digs. Um, and then it, the Art Basel is coming up. I have a few events at the top of the week. This is gonna be a weekly vlog, so lots happening. It's gonna be a good one. Let's get into it. quickly did a face I used all my usual products if you're interested in the lip it is Stella fiery lip stain it's like the perfect red I think I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a blog post on the best holiday lipsticks this is gonna be on the list I'll link it down below all right 
I'm gonna get dressed and we are going to start shooting. All right guys, so this is my first look. It's this dress from Alex New York. If it's still available, I'll link it. Maria's here. Oh, hi. <laughs> and we are going to shoot. The main thing of this is this bag. It's really cute. So we're gonna try some kind of high editorial type of shoots. I don't know, Maria has some ideas, y'all. I'm not that creative, so. We gonna see how it turns out. I'm wearing my Marco DiVincenzo braided heels. Out here doing what we normally do. You know it. guys just went on the rooftop and shot those pink jacquemus shorts again the top was from rat and boa I'm gonna go and shoot this solace london dress this is a great dress if you are modest um they have really nice occasion dresses definitely check out my i think six best holiday dress brands video this was definitely in it um so i'm gonna shoot this and i have three other looks to shoot and then we will be done but we're heading over to like one of my favorite places to shoot i'm just gonna pack up my reeve gauche saint laurent bag with these outfits and then we're going to head on out all right guys so we are out here in front of the art basel miami convention center i want to shoot in front of the sign so we're power walking because we're illegally parked. Yeah, it's a beautiful day today though. It is, it's gorgeous. It was beautiful yesterday too. shooting I think we shot like five looks today we started at about what 11 and now it's 1 30 just about a few of them are probably already up on Instagram so if you're coming from this video head on over drop your girl three black hearts try to mix it up a little bit um, so that I know that you came from this video. Currently, I'm wearing another Rat and Boa top. I'm obsessed with their tops. It wraps around like this. It also comes with a matching skirt, but I didn't get the skirt. This denim skirt is actually a piece that I picked up from Simonette in the Miami Design District the last time I was here. And I rocked it with my Balenciaga square knife pumps. I actually wanna get these in black. They came out with some new ones that are like the Bottega Green. I love those. They also have like a snake embossed print.
print gold pair that I'm loving as well. Um, so I'll link those down below if anyone is into these. And of course, all of the outfits you saw me shoot today are linked down below in the description box. I am a size medium in everything. That was fun and now I'm starving. I'm thinking what I'm gonna do is pop on an outfit and walk over to the one hotel, which is literally a block away. You guys know I love the one hotel, but for as long as I'm gonna be in Miami until I close on my house, like there was no way I could pay those prices for as long. And I mean, this place is lovely and it's like, way cheaper. I'm gonna head over to the one. I'm gonna see if I can get a re reservation at their rooftop restaurant called Water because I really want that lobster sushi roll that they have and like a nice cool beverage. And then I think what I'll do is come back here and go to the pool since it's so beautiful today. I'm gonna go ahead and unpack and then repack because I am leaving this place tomorrow. So I think I need to clean a little bit and I will check back in once I get dressed and head over to one. Hopefully I can get a spot. Since I'm not staying there, I think they might be a little more, you know, strict. So anywho, it's such a beautiful day today and your girl needs to pack. Like look at this suitcase over here. It is a complete mess in this place and I would love to leave it in pristine condition because if I ever need another Airbnb, I wanna be able to come back here even though I don't think I'll need it again. And also, since I know a lot of you are going to be requesting to stay here, I just wanna keep a good rapport with the owner. Also, <laughs> <laughs> I want him to sell this place to me, period. This place is immaculate, ocean view. They're never gonna build anything over this park, so there's always gonna be an ocean view. I kinda looked up how much this place sold for, and it wasn't that much more than the house I just bought. And so, I don't know. I'ma see if he'll sell it to me, y'all. If so, I'll Airbnb it out too, and y'all can stay here in my own spot, period. All right guys, I'm a little bit backlit, but here is my outfit for today. Wearing this DeSeagle dress, these Bottega white mules, Louis Vuitton earrings, um, and the bag, of course, is Jacquemus. The scent, Joe Malone, wood, sage, and sea salt. And that's today's look. The sunglasses are gonna be Loewe, but they are sold out.
just got back from water i went over to one hotel and they have really decorated it so lovely they have these beautiful white lights all around the lobby um which is just very festive especially when you're living in like a warm climate to see like christmas lights it really puts you in the holiday spirit so i went up to water which is their rooftop restaurant and there's also a pool on the rooftop um i sat at the bar of course i had to get a frosé you guys know i love frosés i usually get a french 75 but it is hot today and i wanted something frozen so i went with their frosé it's actually really delicious um, and I also got their regular fries and the lobster sushi roll. Ugh. It's still as amazing as it is before. The vibes up there were nice. There were lots of people up there. They always have a DJ spinning like live music. So that was really nice. I talked to a few people around me. I always strike up conversations with people anytime I sit by myself at the bar. I think it's because people are not used to seeing someone out alone. Um, there was a young lady next to me. She's like, oh, are you here alone? I was like, yeah, I come here quite a bit. Um, and she's like, oh, that's so like, you know, new new age of you. I love going out to eat by myself. I go and do a lots of things by myself. I really do enjoy my own company. And a lot of times I always meet like new, exciting, fun people anytime I'm out. So I have no qualms going anywhere alone. But it's like 3.30 almost. And the sun is peak sun. And y'all know I'm trying to get my tan on. So I'm gonna pop on a bathing suit. I'm gonna head up to the rooftop pool because I haven't even indulge in the pool yet I feel great <laughs> and i'm so happy it's beautiful today and so sunny and warm i'll show you guys my swimsuit and we'll go up to the rooftop and just chill for the evening and then i'll probably uh end the vlog for today and then strike it back up tomorrow when it's time to show you guys my new digs i'm gonna miss this place this place was incredible i have linked this airbnb down below if you missed the first I'm back in Miami um, weekly vlog from last week and you want to see a full tour definitely check out that video um, I'll put the details down below this place is incredible incredible if you can't get this Airbnb definitely just book the Bulan Hotel because all of the rooms look similar to this one let's get ready for a rooftop pool situation it is a mess in here. I really need to clean. This is just ridiculous. All right, guys. So I'll put on this uh, two-piece bathing suit from Colt Gaia. I actually wore this during my birthday here in Miami when I stayed at uh, East Miami Hotel. And we went to the pool. Gloria and I took a ton of pictures. But I love this little ring. Of course, it comes with a little matching bottom with a little ring on the side as well this might actually be on sale so if so i will link it down below i went with my normal size which is a size medium um i think i'm gonna pack my reeve gauche tote i'm gonna put my computer in there because i'll be able to connect to internet so maybe i'll watch some uh, um youtube while i'm kind of lying out uh i'm gonna take my sunglasses for sure my Loewe sunglasses. Gonna take some water, some fruit um, that I bought yesterday from the store, and then we're gonna go ahead and head up.
good morning everyone all right guys so as you can see we are in a new location here in miami beach please excuse the echo this place is massive um today is monday november 29th it's actually cyber monday so i spent the morning updating my black friday sales post i also walked over to starbucks and got myself an oat milk latte with a shot of caramel and y'all this is my new drink okay it is delicious let me know if you try it and i see starbucks has gone over has already changed over to their holiday cups which is super cute anyway so let me give you the tea on this place i actually checked into this airbnb yesterday and i did a ton of stuff yesterday so i'm gonna have to rewind and go back and show you guys what i did but first of course i want to give you a tour of this place because it is stunning i also want to buy this place this place is actually not too far from where i used to live it's right in the center of miami beach it is a two-story one bedroom two bathroom apartment and it is y'all see it it's stunning you open the door into this living area it has a beautiful plush like steel gray couch a really cool coffee table it also has like a shag rug like a gray shag rug i'm loving the dining room table it has here in the center with four chairs and then it has a big tv tv has hulu netflix it's all set up for everything for it for you what i love is the marble it's the marble for me this whole place is like marble floors mar huge marble slabs and i love that come a little bit inward and you have the kitchen they have really cool artwork in here as well i'm pretty sure they probably got this in miami it's so cool this this painting here there's a bathroom down here off to the right really nice super modern a nice mirror that has the backlit led i love mirrors like this because they're so good for doing doing your makeup and the kitchen is nice and white and open it has two big windows get a lot of northern exposure here huge fridge it has a coffee maker um and a blender it has a microwave it has a stove and then it has this little marble table here with like uh, three bar stools one of which i'm sitting on i love these lights too like how cool are these but i feel like the masterpiece of this house is the stairwell it is stunning it's a marble stairwell encased in glass and silver poles uh and it turns which is really cool and the backdrop is wooden like from floor to ceiling it's all like a wood panel it's so beautiful and then it has this stunning uh chandelier uh stunning like whoever thought of this incredible and then a little walkway that leads up into the grand master bedroom which also has that same huge wood paneling behind a low to the floor platform bed uh, with two side tables and the side tables are so cool they have these little buttons that you just literally touch the button and the the lower portion of the nightstands light up which is incredible huge what i really love about this bedroom is the floor to ceiling mirror you guys i'm gonna do all of my outfits of the day in that mirror of course this place also has a beautiful shag rug it has a tv console and a, a flat screen on the wall which is nice oh another thing i love about this place the closet the closet is huge it's like an open concept it has a window which is great you love to get light to show your clothes actually in my house there's a, also a window in my closet <laughs> i made sure of it anywho i love the built outs lots of cabinet space lots of hanging space lots of um hangers for you to hang things and y'all know me i already unpacked all my stuff and set a few things out because i have some events coming up and so i just wanted to really see what i have and not be living out of a suitcase the last place i stayed in i really loved it but it did not have a closet there was no closet so i was literally living out of my suit out of my suitcase there is a beautiful bathroom as well nice nice and modern um it has a glass shower with 
waterfall rain shower really really nice and then the same kind of light up mirror which is great for doing your makeup and it also has a washer and dryer which is really cool um this place is massive it is stunning it has like rave reviews on airbnb so by the time this video goes live i will be out of here so if you're interested in booking this place um, I will link it down below in the description box. Also, I had a wonderful night's sleep in the bed last night. The bed is absolutely divine. Which is the, like, the hallmark of a good Airbnb is if you get a good night's sleep. And in this neighborhood is really quiet, so I love it. Mm. Okay, so what I'm going to do is get myself together. I'm going to get myself presentable because I'm actually heading over... Uh, to Rhea's to help her shoot a campaign and then I have to go get my nails done y'all know I usually get my nails done once a week at my favorite place but I'm gonna take you guys with me I'm gonna get the same polish I got in the last Miami vlog because I really really love it it has chipped into the sun but it's been a whole week and it held up really nicely so what I'm gonna do get myself together and then I'm gonna come back and I'm going to show you guys what I got for Black Friday. A few of the things I bought, like I went in store and I also ordered some things have already come in. So I'm going to do a Black Friday haul for you guys, show you what I got in, and then we'll head to get my nails done. It's going to be a good vlog. Stay tuned. Don't forget, thumbs up and subscribe. Alright guys, so I got myself together wearing this H&M linen shirt. I have so many of these because they are incredible. I'll link it down below. And this super old Alexander Wang denim shirt, I mean skirt. I'll show it to you better later. But first, let's get into all of the happenings that went on yesterday. Yesterday was Sunday, November 28th. That's when I actually checked into this Airbnb. But I decided to head on over to Brickle and do a little shopping and a little eating. If you don't know about Brickle, it's basically like a mini New York City, very Wall Street vibes, lots of tall buildings. It's actually over by one of my other favorite hotels, which is East Miami Hotel, but I headed over there because I wanted to check out Brickell City Center, which is a, a really great open air type of mall. I know that they were having some sales, and of course you guys know that I was looking for a new scent that I couldn't find in the last vlog. So I headed there and I stopped into this place called Aqua de parma now i have heard of this brand before but i've never bought any of their perfumes and they do have a store in brickle city center so i stopped off in there looked around the sales associate was incredible he asked me like what kind of um fragrances do i like do i like light and fresh do i like spicy and sweet um i told him i was looking for a very light and fresh and also something kind of mysterious deep and sweet because those are like my two favorite scents. Um, and so he brought me a few. I tried out, out a few and I ended up buying two of them. So I'm gonna show you what I got. So their store is beautiful. And I got these two perfumes. This one is Aqua de Parma Colonia Pura. And this smaller one is Aqua de Parma Secura. So this is like a very kind of light, sweet, spicy scent and this is their smallest size i believe it was like 120 bucks oh my god this smells amazing i might wear this one today <laughs> and then i got this one which was actually the smallest size of this perfume it just smells really clean really fresh almost like the beach i um, mean i think this would be a really great scent just living in miami but i think today i'm feeling this one so i'm gonna spray this i will link this down below if I can. I really like newer fragrances and trying new perfume brands because sometimes you just don't want to smell like everybody else. I mean, everybody has Baccarat, everybody uh, wears Barreto, everybody wears Lalabo. So I just wanted to try something new and this smells incredible. 
So I got this yesterday while I was shopping. Um, I also stopped off in Saks because um, Brickle City Center does have a Saks and their Saks is excellent. It's just as good as the one over at Ball Harbor Shops. And of course they were having an incredible Black Friday sale. You spend a certain amount of money, you get a gift card back that you can use up until I believe January 1st. So, of course, I got a few things. So let me show you what I got from the Black Friday sales. By the way, Brickle City Center is just so festive right now. They have up all of their like holiday decor, their Christmas trees and like huge ornaments. And it was really just nice. Everyone was out getting their shop on and it was just a lovely shopping experience. So Saks was having an incredible sale. So I stopped off in there. Um, let me show you what I got. First up, I have been wanting this bathing suit forever. I just think it's a bomb bathing suit. It's from Norma Kamali. And her bathing suits are normally uh, $200 around there. They do go on sale quite often. But I wanted this very like retro, very Baywatch gold lame swimsuit. And it is cut very high. Um, I actually have this same swimsuit in red, but I just love the cut of it. It has a low scoop neck and it just looks, it looks amazing on. Like, it looks amazing. And it was actually 40% off, which was great. I got the size medium, it fits really well. I think I'm gonna wear this on New Year's Day. Um, usually what we do is we get a yacht for New Year's Day and we just spend the day on the water. If you haven't watched my previous New Year's Eve vlog here in Miami. You can check that out. It was such a fun one. So I believe this is what I'm gonna wear for these for January 1st for our yacht day. Hopefully we still do that again this year because it's so fun. Next up, I believe I tried on these jeans like last year in a vlog, but it was in the Saks in New York City, Saks Fifth Avenue. Um, these jeans are by Veronica Beard and I love them. I love the shape of them. They have that balloon shape so they kind of go out like so and then I just love the pattern on them. If you can kind of see it's like multicolored denim and they're just a very relaxed pair of denim jeans. I just and they're really well made. They have a good amount of stretch. I actually had the size down. I'm normally a US size six or a 28 in jeans but I had to size down to a 27 or a size four in these and I recall last year when I tried them on it was the same thing so I think these run a little big so if you want them to be really snug around your waist I would suggest sizing down one size from your normal size but I just love the pattern on these they're super cute and I'll link them down below in case you are interested so that is what I got from Sex. And because I spent $200, I received a $50 gift card from them to use by January 1st, which is great. I think every like $50 you spend after 200, you get um, a gift card. So how cool is that? Like I'm, I should have bought more stuff so I can have more money, but maybe I'll use this towards a bag, which would be excellent. So that's what I picked up from my shopping excursion at Bricky at Brickle City Center and I will link those things down below. I also after that I just hop skipped in a jump right on over to B Bistro and Bakery which is one of my favorite brunch spots here in Miami. It's literally right down the block from East. It's right down the block from Bricky City Brickle City Center shopping mall. I went in and I had the steak and eggs as always, it's delicious. It's steak, it's eggs, and I believe underneath the steak is like potatoes. Ugh, so good, you guys. And then I ended up getting a berry daiquiri. Usually I get a mimosa, but I wanted something different, and the berry daiquiri was divine. Always love eating there. The service is always incredible. The food is always good. That was what I did yesterday, and I also, got a package in that I of items I bought for Black Friday. So for Black Friday, I didn't buy too many things, even though I, in, I did create an amazing Black Friday blog post and I was sh shopping my own post, y'all. That's the thing about creating this kind of content. You end up shopping yourself. But I did buy two pair of boots from Mista. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. It's either Mista or Mista. 
but I have been coveting this brand. I don't own any of their shoes. They did have a sample sale in New York City while I was there this summer, but I didn't go. I don't know why I didn't go, but they had a really great online sale and it was the perfect time for me to buy these boots that I have been dying for. All right, guys, so do not fault me for buying boots, even though I live in Miami, I still have an apartment in New York and I'm still gonna get some wear out of these boots, but Oh, uh, look, ever since I saw these, I wanted them, but the price was just not right. But they had like a 40% off sale and I could not resist. It's also really hard for me to find their shoes of my size, which is a 41. Look at these boots. So they're kind of like a creamy yellow. They are patent leather, which I feel like just makes them so bad in the best way. Look at that toe. It's giving cowgirl slash modern. Look at that heel. Ugh. It's giving queen and slim vibes. This, this, this is the vibe from that movie. I feel like, ugh, the boots. They're everything. Stunning. Like, I've never seen a boot like this. It's just, y'all know I can't really do too much of a cowgirl like it's not my style but this is everything and i love that it has an inside zipper and then it also has this little stretchy part here in case you have thicker calves it's like an expander but these are so comfortable i don't know what they have down in the bottom of them but so plush in the bottom on the inside so i'll be sure to link these if i can find them for you guys maybe they'll sit, still be on sale but a brand to know for shoes is mista um, they also have really really cute like sandals and heels as well now <laughs> in addition to those because y'all know i'm loving chocolate brown right now <laughs> do y'all see these? <laughs> do y'all see these boots so these are a little bit higher the other ones hit almost like a booty these they kind of go up further your calf for me they do hit me at the widest part of my calf which i don't like but i can scrunch them down a little bit they are the same shape they have that same stunning heel and really cool toe um these are step into boots these don't have a zipper but this is very very wide and these are even more comfortable than like the taupey yellow ones they have some padding down at the bottom as well. Ugh, I love them. I love them so much. Mm. I'm about to go back to New York just to wear these, y'all. Like, I'm not even on front. Fashion week in February. Both of these boots, you'll see them. You'll see them. It's, it's going to happen. Um, so I will link this brand down below. Let me know which one is your favorite of these two. It's more your style, the yellow ones or the brown ones. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys my full outfit and then Rhea and I are gonna do some shooting and then I'm gonna head to get my nails done. Look who's here. Hi. Y'all know what the deal is. We about to do some work. Shoot, shoot time. All right guys, so Rhea and I just finished shooting some content. I also forgot to tell you guys that yesterday I also headed to the Lincoln Road Antique Flea Market. Um, I have taken you guys there a few times in my Miami vlogs. They usually have it every Saturday or is it every Saturday and Sunday or every Sunday um, on Lincoln Road. It was incredible. Lots of people are out there selling clothes, home goods, home decor items, furniture, uh, bags. They even have some furs out there, paintings. It's really, really great. And it usually starts at about 8 a.m. and runs until about five. So if you're ever in the Miami area and you love doing like flea market runs or you just like shopping secondhand and thrift and looking for really unique items, definitely check out the Lincoln Road Antique Flea Market. Um, I didn't buy anything from the market, but I just wanted to show you guys how it is. Um, and I think I will do a little shopping perhaps next week if it's going to be there. I'm not sure though, because it's going to be Basel. But 
I will definitely do a full vlog about antiquing and also thrift shopping in Miami Beach soon. So if you wanna see that, let me know down in the comments. Um, I'm gonna throw on some shoes, some earrings, a bag, um, and I'm gonna meet Rhea. We're gonna have some tacos for lunch. So let's get my outfit together. I think I'm gonna wear my Gucci slides today and my Dior bag. All right guys, so here's my outfit for today. I'm wearing these Free People sunglasses that are 25 bucks. They are Loewe dupes, so I'll link them down below. The shirt is H&M. It's my favorite white linen button up top. I'll link that as well. I'm wearing a medium. The skirt is old from Alexander Wang. I picked it up at a sample sale. I'm pretty sure I vlogged that. The shoes, I'm just going with my Chanel dad sandals. And the bag is Christian Dior. Do I need an earring? I think I'll be all right without an earring. This necklace is from Majuri. It's one of my favorite necklaces. I think I'm gonna add one more necklace and then we're off. This is summer. <laughs> it's our fall. So I just got in from a cool day today. After Ri and I did some shooting, we headed over to this taco spot. I cannot remember the name of it, but I will put it down below in the description box. I have eaten there before. I ended up getting the nachos with steak and it was delicious, okay? Delicious. I still actually have some leftovers that I will probably eat tonight. And then I think Rhea got steak tacos and those look really delicious too. Very filling meal. I know I needed to eat because afterwards I headed over to Hanan International Nail and Spa. And y'all know they always be giving your girl glasses and glasses on glasses on glasses of Prosecco. I'm actually a little buzzed right now, so forgive me. But, but I went and got my nails done. I got a mani-pedi. They're always so thorough. I, I just love their services. I went with the same color, which is um, coconuts over OPI on my nails. I really, really love this color. And then on my feet, I went with my normal white purity nail polish from Zoya. I mean, you just, a white toe just goes, especially in Miami since it's hot all year round. That was a really great experience. I'm loving my nails. Tomorrow I have an event with Ball Harbor Shops. They are having a breakfast at Le Zoo. So I'm going there in the morning and then tomorrow evening I have an event with the Daily Front Row who's doing a cocktail hour. So what I realized I need to do is head to my storage unit and switch out some things. Um, I wanna grab a few dresses, just pretty much all of the things that are very kind of avant-garde that I love in my wardrobe that I wanna wear during Art Basel and a few events prior to Art Basel and after Art, Art Basel. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Um, but I did stop off at Rosetta, the Italian bakery. If you've been watching my Miami vlogs, you might've seen 
when I went to the Rosetta Bakery over by Miami East Hotel. And they always have delicious treats. And I wanted something sweet. So I got this custard filled, I don't know, I guess it's a donut. And I'm gonna devour this like right now because I'm starving. Anywho, so far a really productive day. Um, I had some Instagram, some sponsored Instagram stories go live today, some sponsored posts go live today. So I feel really accomplished, very glad that I don't really have anything else uh, work related that needs to go live this week, which is great because Art Basel is happening and I'm already going to be super busy with events. By the way, Art Basel will be covered in another vlog, not this vlog because it's just too much. Um, I am gonna do pre-Basel events tomorrow and then I'm probably gonna end the vlog out. But remember, everything you've seen so far in today's vlog is linked down below in the, in the description box. And you can go ahead and thumbs up if you're loving this video and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss anything. All right guys, I'm gonna eat this donut. And I'm gonna go ahead and call an Uber, head over to my storage unit and switch some things out. And then in the morning, we are going to an event. So I will catch you guys tomorrow. y'all so it is day three of the vlog today is november 30th it's tuesday this is kind of like the first day that pre art basel events start to happen my first event this morning is i'm heading to ball harbor shops to check out three new art installations they have um, i've worked with ball harbor before i really love it you guys know i've already been there it's one of my favorite places to shop and i'm going to another event tonight i think it's honoring a ghanaian artist and that'll be fun It'll, it's with the daily front row they have events all over the world um i've gone to lots of their events in new york city especially during a uh, new york fashion week so last night i went to my storage unit because i wanted to get out you know some of my more fun pieces to wear this week and for art basel um of course I like wearing black designers anytime I can highlight black designers, especially when there's gonna be lots of people around and I'm going to lots of events. That's what I'm gonna do. So today I'm wearing this Hanifa two-piece set. You guys know I've worn this a few times before, uh, most notably during the last New York Fashion Week. I'm wearing the size small. I believe this was even on sale for Black Friday, Cyber Monday. So I hope you caught that Hanifa sale because it was in my best Black Friday sales blog post and I also picked up a few more things from my storage unit from Hanifa definitely going to wear this stunning dress from her digital collection during Basel I also picked up my Christopher John Rogers dress you know we're going for fun we're going for arty we're going for black everything all right so I'm running a little late I'm meeting Rhea and we're gonna ride over together I need to choose a scent for today I think I'm gonna go with Lalabo Tay Noir. Oh, it smells so good. I probably put too much on, but y'all know how I do. For the shoe, we are definitely doing white Bottega Mules because I can wear them all day. The lip is Fenty Unveil. I'm going for a really kind of pare it down makeup look today because it's so early. All right, guys, hopefully you can see me, but this is today's fit wearing these vintage Chanel earrings, this Hanifa two piece set in a size small black owned business Bottega bag that I bought from the real real you would have seen that in my New York Fashion Week vlog where Janae of Hilo Lux and I went shopping and my white Bottega mules and so that is today's look for going to Ball Harbor and checking out this installation
y'all. So I just got back from the event at Bar Harbor or Bell Harbor, however you choose to pronounce it. It was really great. We got to see the new art installation that they have there. They also had some like artwork done by Reyna. She's incredible. <laughs> it was really nice to meet her. Um, the artwork, her artwork is incredible. She is a um, artist of color, so that's great. And also she just is stunning. She had on this beautiful green outfit, curly hair. Oh, we also got to check out the music. They had a brand there that had like really incredible like speakers and sound, and we got to check that out too. So those are the, are the three things they have going on over there for like Basel, just to promote like art and music and sound, which was really cool. So they had a breakfast at Le Zoo, which is one of the restaurants there. And it was great, lots of macaroons and pastries and lots of mimosas. I met a lot of new fun people. I also ran into some old friends, which is great. My girl, Lisa D NYC, who's been here in Miami for a year. She moved down a little bit before I did. Got to see her, she is great. And she was rocking this beautiful, like white, like almost button down t-shirt dress with a, I think a Fendi belt and these incredible boots. Like she always looks amazing. I've spoken about her before, but if you're just looking for really like wholesome, but also super fashion for it and family content, she has a beautiful husband, a beautiful son. She is just super positive. Definitely check her out. Um, my girl Rhea did go with me as well. And we just had a blast. Of course, your girl did some shopping. Like, you guys, I went to Fendi and they sold out of that bag. I'm so sad. I'm gonna look online right now and see if I can find it anywhere. If so, I'm gonna buy it because now I feel sad. Like I missed out on that colorful Fendi bag that I showed you guys in the previous Miami vlog. But getting to meet Reyna was wonderful. She's an incredible artist. So when she came up to me, first of all, she had on this green, we were all like, wow, you look incredible. She smelled so good. And I was like, girl, what is, it, what is it you wearing? And she told me that it was Gucci Violet. And I know Gucci has just now come out with like very artisan perfumes, not like their generic perfumes. And so you guys know that I have that Saks uh, $50 off card and I have to use it by the first. So I went into the Gucci counter at Saks and I was able to find that same perfume she was wearing. And it is called Gucci the Virgin Violet. Normally I do not like floral scents. I feel like Violet is definitely a floral scent, but this is registering very powdery and I love that. It smells very light, very powdery with like a touch of sweet Violet. And I mean, uh, when Raina walked up and she was wearing this, that's the first thing I noticed about someone is, I mean, of course, if they, you look fabulous. I'm gonna notice that first. But otherwise, I'm gonna notice how you smell, especially if you're wearing some type of perfume. And y'all, this smells so good. This is gonna be my new favorite fragrance. So this is the box it comes in. It's absolutely stunning. Let me show you the bottle. So it comes in this little sack and then you open it up and it's a beautiful like white porcelain bottle with like gold leaf on it. And then the top is a pop off top and then you have a spray. Oh, you guys. Like when it first comes out, I don't like it. <laughs> Not at all. But then I put it on my skin and let it marinate a bit, walked around a little. And I was like, this is it. This is, this is that girl. So if you're looking for a new uh, fragrance, you like very kind of very light, kind of powdery, kind of fresh, but a little bit of sweetness and you like violet, this it. I'm gonna link it down below. I'm glad I got this, found a new fragrance and that I got to use my Saks gift card. All right guys, so I think what I'm gonna do is <laughs> open up a bottle of champagne. Well, not champagne, I still have these Proseccos. I don't think I drank every last one. Tonight, I'm going to a party with Daily Front Row at the W South Beach and my girl Farrah Pink, who has also moved from New York to Miami. I think she moved a couple months ago. She's meeting me there. This is our first time meeting up in Miami, which is great because she's wonderful. She's another content, uh, another full-time content creator. 
So definitely check her out. So what I'll do is I'm gonna chill. I got some work to do, got some brand stuff to do. Mm, I'm gonna relax and uh, I'm gonna check in tonight when I'm getting ready. We're gonna go to the party and then we're gonna close out this vlog because I know it's gonna be super long, but don't worry. The vlog after this one is going to be the Basel vlog. Tons of events, tons of parties. It's gonna be wild and crazy, so. Cheers to us and our first Basel. Yeah, excited about it. All right guys, I will check back in tonight. All right guys, so if you can see my computer there, I've been doing a little bit of work. I am hungry and I realized I need to go to YSL and pick up some things for a brand campaign. I need some beauty products. And so I'm gonna head over to the, des the design district and kind of check it out. I'm sure there's going to be some kind of activations there for art balls that I can show you guys that I probably won't be able to show you during the rest of the week because I'll just be too busy. Um, so I'm gonna go over there, I'm gonna have lunch and then I'm gonna head to YSL. I might go to Bricky, Brickle City Center again to see if they have the beauty products that I need for this campaign. I'm just gonna wear the same outfit. I'm gonna call an Uber now because my reservation is in 30 minutes. <laughs> I always do this to myself, y'all. A little extra fun. So I am back here in my Airbnb. 
So I ended up going to the Miami Design District. Like, I was not thinking, y'all. I could clearly just go to Sephora, which is even closer, and get all the products I need for my uh, campaigns. But nevertheless, I had been craving this uh, pasta from Swan, which is a restaurant um, in the Miami Design District. So I went over there. Everyone's out. Everyone is dressed to the nines, of course, because it's Basel. Everyone looks incredible. So I made a reservation and I got the ribeye fusilli pasta, y'all. Y'all, that is the best pasta. Like, it's so good, it's so flavorful. Um, everything about it is delicious. And then I had the, the signature swan cocktail, which is really beautiful, it had swan on it. And it was just a nice ambiance. I was really like in and out at eight. And then I walked around a bit. I'm really excited because the Chanel in the Miami Design District is finally opening. There's only one Chanel in Miami Beach and that's at Bell Harbor. And it's really hard to like find an essay there because it's just so inundated with people. So I'm really glad that this new Chanel is opening. Just walked around a bit, checked out a few things. And then of course, I made a beeline for Fendi, but y'all know, if you watched the previous I'm Back in Miami vlog, you've already seen this bag. Um, earlier today when I was at Bal Harbor, I went to the Fendi there and they told me that it was sold out everywhere. And I was like, ah, ah, because I had just went to the one in Miami Design District and I saw it. So I just decided to pop in over there. And of course they still had one there. I didn't want the display model. I asked them if they had any other ones. And she was like, I think we only have one and we like, it's not even like unboxed yet. So she went to the back, unboxed it. She's like, this is the only one we have left other than the display. And you're so lucky because you know, it's Art Basel and people are shopping like crazy. And I was just about to put this out. And so, I did end up buying the Fendi multicolored baguette that you would have seen me show you guys in a previous Miami vlog. This is the box. Um, this is my second Fendi bag, so uh-uh. I mean, they boxed this up real good, y'all. Like, I thought I was about to do an unboxing for y'all, but hold on. Okay, so I realized I haven't done an unboxing on my Insta stories in a really long time. And since y'all already know what's in this box, I gotta see this for Instagram. Let me get a good picture without my feet in it. Nothing but a little light. You know what, this would be better on the floor. <laughs> I don't know why I'm trying to be super extra. Like the floor is also all marble, so. All right guys, so I just finished my unboxing of my new Fendi Baguette bag for Instagram. It's probably already live, perhaps. But here it is. It is the multicolored Fendi Baguette. The base color is like a beige taupey brown, which is great. Um, that will go great with my Lido Mules. It has gold hardware. You guys know how I feel about gold hardware. There's a sticker on here. I'm gonna take it off eventually. Love the strap. And all of these colors will just go so well in my wardrobe. I have a lot of this color green. I have a lot of this like fuchsia. I have a lot of yellow and blue. Um, I feel like this will work so well with neutrals and with um, colors. Just a stunning bag. As soon as I saw it, <laughs> I knew I had to have it. So really glad to have this bag. It does come with a shoulder strap. I'm not really feeling the shoulder strap. There's a di different strap that you can buy for this bag that has the multicolor, but I didn't really like that strap either. The thing is, I'm probably never going to wear this bag with the strap. I'm probably always just going to carry it, but it does come with this strap. I mean, it's kind of a vibe, but uh, I'm not really feeling the strap. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna put this over here. But this is a vibe. Inside, it's just like my other Fendi bag. It's just pretty much 
spacious in there with a zipper pocket here this one does have a little bit more structure than my other fendi bag that one's kind of pliable and movable this one is a little stiffer which is great because it's not going to lose its shape um, I think this is still available on the Fendi website. I don't know for how long. This is limited edition. So if you want it, I would get it right away. Um, I don't think they're going to like continue making this. So I love it. Maybe I'll wear this tonight for the party. Oh, and just in case you're wondering, it came with all of the standard things. Dust bag. And of course, the beautiful Fendi box, which I don't think I'm going to keep because I have so much stuff. I'm lugging around until I um, close. Oh, by the way, while I was having lunch today at Swan, my lawyer hit me up and we finally have nailed down a closing date. You guys, my closing date got pushed back five times. This is what happens when you're working with a new build, something built from the ground up. There's so many checks and balances that have to happen before you can actually close things that the city has to come out and do um it was just really insane if i don't know if i will ever buy a new build again like i think from now on i will definitely just buy things that are already built we're gonna talk about that later that video is coming soon but i do finally have a closing date it's not very far away so super happy that i will be moving into my first house soon <laughs> okay all right guys i'm gonna chill for a bit do a little bit of work i have a campaign i need to edit and then i'm gonna get ready to head to the party at the w south beach with daily front row and then we'll close out this vlog but if you are enjoying the video please you guys give your girl a thumbs up like it helps me out so much if you've watched all the way to this point you like the video if you are wondering how to do that from your tv just <laughs> there's a little circle that has my face right above the scroll bar go to the right of that you should see three dots click that and you should be able to thumbs up the video and subscribe to my channel from your tv you can also just very easily do it from your phone or from your computer if you're watching from your phone or from your computer and if you're watching from your phone like you're a g because i don't know how i could watch a video this long on that tiny of a screen and so i really do appreciate you so yeah i'm trying to get at least four thousand likes on this video so help your girl out help me help me out all right, guys, I'll check back in soon. Oh, isn't she stunning? I'm about to go plan some outfits around this for Basel. Hey, y'all. So I just got myself together for this party at the W South Beach. I'm wearing this little black dress from The Line by K. This dress is so old. Every time I wear it, I get so many questions as these three little ties in the back. But you guys, they don't make this dress anymore, so I'm so, so sorry. But I love it. I especially love the sleeves. But I just want it to be very, you know, kind of chic, kind of sexy, kind of elegant. It's just a cocktail party, and it's only like an hour and a half, so no biggie. We're doing the Givenchy's. You guys remember I bought these at Saks on sale and I was like, I'm only gonna wear them when I move to Miami. So yeah, these are cute. For the bag, we're gonna do this Fendi. You know, kind of going with black and brown theme. I'll show you guys the full outfit. I'm gonna wear my new perfume tonight, which is the Gucci virgin violet that I bought today. I actually really am loving how this smells. Like, it's incredible. So I'm not too far from the W. So I have some time, but I am gonna meet my girl Farah there. I'm trying to think if she's ever been in a, a video before. I don't think so, but I've known her for a good while. And she is also a full-time content creator who moved to Miami. Um, she just had a baby, a beautiful baby girl. So yeah, definitely give her a follow, Farah Pink, on Instagram. 
All right, let me give you a full look. By the way, the lip is NARS Mysterious Red Velvet Matte Lip Pencil, and I'll link it. All right, guys, so here is the full look. I hope you can see, because I'm a little backlit, but this dress is like a satin material. I'm gonna put on my Chanel uh, CC Drop Earrings, and I just refreshed my makeup a little bit. And this is the look. All right, guys, sorry I look a little nuts. I just took off my mask. But I had an amazing time at the Daily Front Row cocktail party. Um, they had some things there. They had Lagos Jewelry, which is a Ghanaian jewelry maker, I believe. I really love the jewelry. Um, I'm thinking I'm gonna get this like bobble bracelet that I saw and this really stunning ring. My girl Farrah Pink met me there. Make sure you're following Farrah. Um, we had some drinks. I had an espresso martini. I met a lot of people there that I follow on YouTube and that I follow on Instagram. And it was just, everybody was there. It was like, a moment everyone came dressed to the nines almost like it was new york fashion week which is really great it's lovely to just see people embracing fashion and having fun with fashion i love that about miami um i also met afro child there on instagram afro underscore child she's super nice and she also is an artist and her work was actually in the Daily Front Row magazine. So that was really, really cool. We did this fun little thing where we got on this stand and it was really fun. I had an amazing time. Fair and I ended up having dinner at um, the W Hotel. I got some, what did I get? Like cheese pe uh, spaghetti. It was really, really good. We had meatballs. I had a French 75, y'all. Yes. That's probably why I'm feeling the way I'm feeling. But overall, a really great event. Met up with some really cool people. So now I'm beat. I'm beat. But I'm home before 10 and that's what I love. I'm about to take a shower, 
take this makeup off, do my skincare routine, put on my silky robe, and I'm gonna turn in. I'm gonna take a day off from vlogging before I start again the official vlog for Basel. So make sure you stay tuned. And of course, special thanks to Hyper Skin for sponsoring a portion of today's video. Remember, you can use my code Monroe15 for 15% off at hyperskin.com. Get your skin right. It's good. But if you enjoyed today's video, today's vlog, please do thumbs up, subscribe, and click the notification bell so that you never miss a video. And I will see you all in the next one. Peace. Good night.